Okay, so this is Out of the Past, and, uh, we got mountains, and we got flashbacks. Good! Change it up! <laughs> Thank you! Um, uh, it's a good episode, but, um, okay, so Amon comes in. Well, first of all, oh my god, when Tarlock tries to bend him and he just walks through. I mean, this, that's like one of the few moments where my jaw's just like, <gasps> What is this guy? I mean, I'm fascinated by this guy and just what a fucking badass he is, too. Um, and, okay, so, you know, and Cora, Cora's got that great scene where uh, she figures out how to um, not get electrocuted in the box. Though, can, can she not metal bend? Did, is that? Oh, oh, no, that's right. Yeah, she's learning all the bending. I'm sorry. Uh, but, okay, so she can't get out of this box, essentially. And, uh, if she learned earth bending, wouldn't metal bending be... I don't know, maybe I missed something, but... Okay, so she's in this box, she very cleverly uses, like, her bandana or whatever to hang on, and breaks free, does a cool, kick-ass action sequence, comes out, there's Armand! And she just sees him there, and he sees her, and she has this look of fear, and then just, uh, lunges, you know, lunges after him, and all these icicles and then sharp things are going am all the snow is going am and he oh he starts to dodge and he jumps through and he's going after her okay here we go she runs the other way end of action scene <laughs> okay i i kind of get it because they built up the fear so when this happens it's not like okay what come on guys i mean i kind of get it but Come on! <laughs> I want to see this fight! I want I want to see more of them together. I want to see them talking more. I want to see a conversation like what she had with Tarlock uh, before, with that awesome waterfall and everything. Uh, but, could just be they're building it up, which... I hope that's it, because what do we got? Three more episodes left? I mean... It's running out of time, guys! <laughs> let, let, let's get this going! Um... <laughs> I just want to see this stuff happen, uh, but but okay. So you got that. You got um, uh, you got Lynn going off. Chief Lynn, right? Uh, you got her going off. Uh, breaks the other team members everything out of jail. They think the Equalists are behind it. They're not. You know, kidnapping Cora. They're not. Uh, so they go up and whatever find uh, that Tarlock's a bloodbender uh, and he's. He's the descendant of a guy who could bloodbend uh, in the past that he did through, like, the crime underground. And now he's trying to seize control through politics, which, in many respects, is not that different. So, um, so I like that. that. That's a good story for this guy, a good backstory. Uh, and I enjoy that a great deal. And uh, I liked him getting his comeuppance. Um, and the flashbacks were good, too. I like seeing sort of what happened to everybody there. Um... Though, if Aang was supposed to be 40, he says they're like, you know, I'm 40 years old, we stop with the nicknames. I mean, shouldn't Toph be, like, 30 or something? Her voice still sounded a little high-pitched to be 30, but, uh, eh, regardless, still, still cool. It's cool to see them all there. It's cool to see them doing their cool stuff. Um, they made the bloodbending, like, even creepier. Like, it opens up with, like, Korra just being brought in, like, <laughs> like, just totally you know, just manipulated and, and creepified. So, uh, so very cool. Um, I, I'm glad they, they took that even a little further. And I like that they explained how he could sort of bloodbend even without the full moon, that there are just sort of these anomaly, anomalies and, er, and not, oh, differences. <laughs> Mutants. Because <laughs> I can't talk right now. Um, but... Yeah, and I thought they actually did a pretty good job explaining that, and, and with very few sentences. I thought uh, having grown-up Sokka there sort of condense that down it was actually pretty effective. Um, so, yeah, and, and I like the polar bear dog finding uh, Korra. I'm just like, okay, no, that works. And, you know, sometimes it'd be like, oh, what, what are the odds? But no, she's tracking her. I mean, I, I got it. Um, more of that dumbass love triangle. <laughs> you know what, I'm just... I'm gonna try my best not to talk about it. I mean, you, just, you know I don't like it. So if... Just assume it's in, like, every episode. If it gets, like, really bad, I'll talk about it. But just assume if there's a love triangle thing in it, I'm not gonna like it. Um... So... 
yeah, t trying to think what else. Um, good episode. I, I just wish maybe, maybe a little bit more of a battle. Like, you know, I don't mind Korra running away, but maybe a little bit more confrontation there, especially after that build. I mean, she comes out of the door and just in slow motion, and you see him turning, and it just looks really intimidating. And it's building up like there's going to be this big fight, and it starts to be a big fight, and then she takes off. It's like, you know that, um, what, that solid minute dedicated to that love triangle there? Could have been a minute of fighting. Could have made it better. But, uh, uh, no, you had to, you had to do that, so, um... I hate love triangles. Okay, okay. I I know everyone else does too. Just, such a weird choice that they went with. Um, that that they decided to do that. But uh, but there it is. Um, still a good episode. Still uh, still learn a lot about uh, about the past. I like seeing grown up Aang. I like seeing grown up Toph. And it didn't it didn't feel too much like bad fan fiction. It actually felt like no no this is where they would be. Sokka as the congressman. Or, or whatever, I, I didn't know about. I'm kind of like, okay, I'll, I'll buy that enough. Um, where could Tara go? I mean, I, I know she's in the first episode. Uh, but where was she again? I, I, I don't know. Because I, I, I know her and Aang were a couple, so it's like, what was she doing when he was doing all this leading the city and the world stuff? Um, maybe they'll go more into there. Or maybe they said, and I missed it, it could very well be. Um... But now I'm just rambling. Uh, good one. Good, uh, uh, good episode. Out of the past, uh, definitely enjoyed it, and, uh, can't wait to see more of that battle. I know it's coming. Come on, I'm on, Korra. Let's, let's, let's go. Ba -ba -ba. Let's fight. Not, you know, don't know who is Korra and Mako. Are they gonna get together? Uh, fuck that. I'm on, Korra. Go, go, go. Let's, let's go, go, go. Go. You go. Bye.